Hello guys and welcome to episode 2 of Coding and Computer Craft. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of stuff with uh, if, if statements just to reinforce that idea. This is more than just what I went over in the previous one. So let's get started. So I'm just going to create a new file, tutorial 2, and here we go. So <clears throat> first thing I'm going to get is just the, uh, the table of our arguments as we went over in the past one. So just set that equal to curly braces dot 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 close curly braces. So now I want to make it do different stuff depending on what you type in. So um, let's say, well, let's just create an if statement, obviously. So if t args one because one is where the table starts equals equals and then we can actually make this a string so we can say if that equals high then um then it will say hello but let's say that you you want to have it do something else you want to Make it so if someone says bye, it'll say goodbye. So then what you'd have to do is what you might be thinking you have to do is just to end and then write another if statement, but actually you don't. You can use something called the else if, which just means that um, it's lots of things are it's if and then else. So if something is this else if means that if it isn't that, but it is this, it's sort of just like tacking another if statement, but it's still in the same row. So it can't be called by, so multiple if statements can't, uh, so it can't go through multiple if statements and get multiple different results if, let's say there's a bug. <clears throat> so if else t args equals by, then print goodbye. And then we can os dot shut down. And then there's something else that if it doesn't actually apply to any of these, um, it's just it's just a regular else. So instead of writing else or if or else if, well you are writing else. So just go else. This doesn't require anything. Um. And then you just do. Um, then it, what it'll prove is we'll print, sorry, I didn't catch that. And then the way we end it, we just type end. So let's see if this program runs. So tutorial two, and see, since I didn't type anything, it just says, sorry, I didn't catch that. But if I say hi, It'll say hello. If I say bye, then it'll say, sorry, I didn't catch that. Now, it's not supposed to do that, so let's look what went wrong. So, right here, I didn't actually supply this. So, now this should work. So, let's just try running that again. And you see the computer shut down. That's what we wanted it to do. That's what os.shutdown meant. So, if when I run tutorial, to buy, it says goodbye and then shuts down the computer. But since it shuts down the computer so quickly, you don't actually see the buy. And that's pretty much the basics of ifs. Um, they're very useful, especially when you have lots of different outcomes. Um, and they're one of the most used things in programming. So I hope you learned something from this episode. As always, have a nice day.